Thank you very much for purchasing our product. We will introduce the standard accessories provided with our Mighty Zip actuator as well as various optional parts that can be purchased separately. Introducing the standard accessories basically included in the Mighty Zip actuator package. Please note that connector wire will be packed for each communication method and socket head bolts are included in the actuator with a stroke of 40 millimeters or more. Let's take a look at the standard accessories and how to use them. Besides installation using a hinge and a hinge base, we provide optional mounting bracket sets or arrayed and bearings. Please refer to how to mount the Mighty Zap video for more info. Socket set screw and rod end tip can be freely mounted as needed. Use the enclosed M3 nut for angle adjustment and fixation. When fastening the rod end tip, hold it firmly with a spanner so that the ray does not rotate together. Otherwise, inner part may be damaged. Depending on the communication method, the RS-485 communication actuator includes a 4-pin Molex connector wire, and the TTL-PWN communication actuator includes a 3-pin Nolex connector wire, each with a length of 200 mm. And the two connectors of the actuator are physically identical and can be connected to any connector. The remaining connector is used when connecting actuators by designating an ID and a daisy chain method. Three pieces of M3 socket head mounting bolts are included only for actuators with 40 mm stroke or longer. The M3 tapping holes are perforated on both sides of the aluminum case of the actuator and through this, the actuator can be mounted without additional bracket. Please note that the tapping thread is not penetrated, so using an M3 screw that is too long may damage the tapping thread. We offer a variety of mounting options to properly mount each product. 26 mm and 27 mm stroke products can be installed on a flat or upright position through IRMBO2 and MBO4. Products over 40 mm stroke can be installed at various angles through IRMBO3. For more detailed installation instructions, please refer to the separate how to mount the Mighty Zap video. The optional U-type rod end tip is easier to fit angle than the default rod end tip. In addition to the standard 200 mm connector wire for TTL PWN communication, you can purchase different length extension wires or wiring materials for your wiring. Additional 200 mm wires are also available as an option. Connector housings and terminals are also available for your self-wiring purpose. In addition to the standard 200 mm connector wire for RS-485 communication, you can purchase different length extension wires or wiring materials for your wiring. Additional 200 mm wires are also available as an option. Connector housings and terminals are also available for your self-wiring purpose. The root and grip tip is an accessory that prevents physical damage to the application object. By attaching a tip with a soft pod and to the right end of the Mighty Zap, three soft tips with different trades are provided and you can selectively use them if necessary. For example, by attaching a rubber silicone pad to the flat type end tip, it can be used to control by pushing or touching an object that is easy to be damaged, or to hold or lift an object using the frictional force of the silicone. When attaching the end tip to the actuator, be careful not to apply excessive turning force to the rod. It may cause damage to the product. The IRUSB01 is an interface board to control parameters in user's PC. Dedicated software to be provided. After connecting the PC and the actuator through our USB01, you can set various perimeters, perform simple operation tests, and update firmware through the dedicated MightyZip Manager software. The IRCT01 is the easy to use MightyZip controller tester for customers who do not have their own controller. Provided with built in basic control program, and user is able to customize the program by Arduino. User can control by built-in buttons and slide switches, an external switch or voltage level signal as well. There is an external communication terminal for Bluetooth or Zigbee communication. 
For specific information, please refer to the product manual and the video dedicated to IRCT01. The IRS TS01 is an Arduino shield board compatible with BART Arduino Leonardo and an ALP and is provided with the Arduino Leonardo board. The built-in basic program allows immediate control, and the program can be customized through Arduino coding. The IRS TS02 is a hub compatible with Raspberry Pi boards and can be easily controlled through a connector dedicated to MightyZip actuators. The API for Raspberry Pi made in Python is provided. The IRS R01 is a device that amplifies and restores RS-485 signals, which may weaken as the line lengthens when connecting a large number of actuators. There is also a function of a terminating resistor, a noise filter function, and a function to restore power loss. In addition, electrical stability can be ensured by adopting a photocoupler. We help your great invention with our linear motion.